Let's talk diet and lifestyle, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm currently cooking dinner. I keep getting the same question again and again, Jess, what is it that you eat in the morning? Well, what is it that I eat, period? What does my diet look like? And also, what does my exercise routine look like? For those of you guys who are brand new to the Bahati Vibe Tribe, yoga. Zen, so zen, zen AF right now. <laughs> Yoga. Yoga is my main thing or what I use in order to help myself feel better and to stay in shape physically, mentally, and spiritually. And then also bike riding. Let me show you my bike. Now I want to show you my bike because I just got it tuned up and some new tires and some air in those tires and I love to bike ride on it. I want to live in a world where the majority of us use bikes to get around versus driving or walking. I enjoy a good walk. Okay, anyways, when it comes to my diet and what it is that I eat, I'm gonna show you my breakfast smoothie that I have literally every day. And it varies depending on what's going on in the weather. I like to have more fruitier smoothies in the morning when it's hotter out. And when it's winter or fall or cooler days, I like to go for the creamy blends. Today is actually hot, but I want to do my usual smoothie that I've been making lately, which I still haven't quite come up with a name for it yet. It's a combination of nutmeg and jackfruit and coconut and almond milk, and it's so, so good. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it is that I'm currently having for dinner, what I'm making for dinner. Pretty much just a quick and easy tofu scramble is what I'm gonna call this. Basically, it's carrots cut up into coins. There's celery and tofu, extra firm to tofu, or cut up into like really small squares, and I'm going to cook this down until it's pretty dry. What I used in order to season this was pretty simple, fast, straightforward, and it was onion powder, paprika, garlic salt, or with some olive oil. It's very easy. I like to keep it simple and flavorful. And then over here, I just have some coconut curry, jasmine rice, because I love rice, like legit love rice so much. And that's what I'll be having for dinner. Because dinner is currently cooking and I'm not ready to eat it yet, this is, I'm actually preparing for Astro Live Chat later on. I'm going to cut up an avocado or a few avocados and make this my side of my dish and pretty much sprinkle lemon or lime on there. So I only have limes at this moment in time. So I'm gonna sprinkle a lime on there and paprika again and some garlic salt in order to keep with the tradition of the seasonings that I've already used. Let me show you the seasoning that I used in order to get this going. Alrighty then, these are the seasonings that I've been working with. Adobo, paprika, curry, creole seasoning, New Orleans style, and garlic powder. Pretty much just eyeball it, but also keep in mind that these two, the adobo and the creole seasoning, have a lot of salt in them. So I don't go overboard, I just kind of lightly season it. In fact, I put in the Creole seasoning into the curry just to give it a little Creole um, twang to it. All right, so that's pretty much what I'll be having for dinner. And what I have for dinner kind of varies, but I do typically like to eat more vegetables than anything else within my dinner dishes. And rice. That's what my diet is. Don't come for me. Don't come for me. Now let's go ahead and talk about my breakfast smoothie. It's one of my favorite things to eat right now. I have one every single morning. It's quick, it's easy to do. It keeps my belly filled. I'm the type of person where my metabolism burns pretty fast, so I, I'm constantly eating, I'm constantly grazing. I forgot, I have roasted carrots in the oven. Whoa! This is what else I've got going on. I'm just roasting some quick carrots again because I love carrots right now. Vitamin C. And pretty much I just cut them up into coin sizes and sprinkled them with garlic powder, paprika, and I think Creole seasoning is on this. The reason why I'm roasting the carrots into those coin size is because it just makes them poppable. You know what I mean? Like as I'm working and living my life during the day, I like things that are quick and easy that I can just grab and go and roasting carrots at the start of the week or roasting vegetables at the start of the week, I can just eat them as we go along and they're savory versus me having a savory craving and then I end up eating something like chips, something that like it's not good for you. So having that already done, on Monday to start the week just keeps me eating well for myself. But there's something else that I wanted to talk about. 
That being said, let's go ahead and talk about my breakfast smoothie. And this is what I have every morning for the last month, this variation of it. And it's pretty easy. It keeps me fulfilled. So you know like when you have a smoothie and then like an hour later or 30 minutes later, you're still hungry or as you're drinking it, like right after you're done drinking it, you still need more food. This is one of those things that I don't really need additional food on top of it, not because I'm trying to be skinny or I'm trying to stop myself from eating. It just works with my body. You know what I mean? I just like to have small frequent meals throughout the day and to keep myself active. That being said, let me go ahead and get this smoothie started because I am starving. Okay, so to start, this is the quick and easy blender that it is that I use to work with in order to make my breakfast smoothie smoothies. The reason why I chose this one, this like one cup blend is because I'm single and I don't have a family at this moment in time. So I only have to focus about myself wonderfully and selfishly. I only have to think about myself. So I make just enough for me and this blender is that. I also am really particular about cleaning things and making sure that things are clean within the house, believe it or not. In order for me to keep things clean realistically, it has to be as simple as possible with as few moving mechanisms and parts as possible and that's why I chose this blender. I've had this one for years. I believe it's a Hamilton Hamilton Beach blender. It, the label used to be right here and it kind of wiped off because this thing is like two years old. It's still kicking, it still blends up ice as if it was brand new and I love it. And it has this cute little nozzle that you could you know, grab and grow and drink out of. But yeah, this is the easiest thing for me and I just bing, bang, boom. So let me grab the ingredients for you for what goes into this smoothie. Uh, hi, babe. Are you having a good day today, Franklin? Yes? No? Maybe so? Do you want to come inside and have a snacky? Come on. Okay, I got distracted by Franklin being so cute. What we have in order to make this the filling, yummy, delicious breakfast smoothie or late lunch smoothie or brunch smoothie is Almond Breeze Vanilla Milk, Jackfruit. If you can get this raw, then you are lucky AF. Then coconut from one of these smoothie packs, which is pretty much just pureed coconut in a little pack. This couldn't be made any more easier for you. And if you want to, you can add an avocado or half of a creamy avocado, but I don't know if I wanna do that now. Yeah, maybe I do. Okay. And then the most important part, in my opinion, a really ripe banana. And why do I pick the really ripe bananas that are like this color? Because they are so sweet and they just take the smoothie to the next level of just total creamy decadence, especially when you add the avocado in there. It is so freaking good. But all right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I do is I start off with a banana and obviously just kind of quickly peel it and add it to the bowl. And just, ooh, and just kind of add it to the smoothie. One thing I like to do too is to hold on to these little case coverings, these banana case coverings. You can add this to your compost bin and use this later to break down and add to your plants for some really wonderful, rich soil. If you don't have a compost bin, in your house and in your garden. What is you doing? The next important piece is to add the coconut. Coconut is so good because this is what makes the smoothie so fulfilling. Pretty much I just add these little chunk chunks in there. Now I like to smash these things before I add them because number one, it get, helps me to get out frustration. And number two, it makes it so it's easier for it to break down and blend down. Not to say that the smoothie blender thing can't do it by itself. Also, I forgot to mention that these smoothie packs can be found at Whole Foods. And I think I paid like six or, I think it was like six or seven dollars for this pack. And it has four coconut sections in there. I've been using a full pack, but if you want to kind of con conserve, you can do half of one pack and extend it from four packs to technically make it like eight different smoothies. But for the sake of just creamy decadence, I'm doing the full one today. Then the next thing we want to do is to cut up one small avocado. I don't know what avocados are looking like in your neighborhood, but lately one bag of avocados this size has been, I think like $2. 
three or four dollars so i just keep scooping them up and scooping them up because in philly they were so expensive to get avocados did i say coconuts I'm, i meant to say avocados and i'm going to be using half of this and then i'm going to be using the other half tonight a little tip to make avocados last longer for those of you guys that don't know this if you sprinkle an avocado with juice from a lime or a lemon it will stop it from getting brown too soon you know it'll be prettier for me to use it later on when i'm having dinner after we have astro live chat because today is monday and we go live in just a few hours let me go ahead and cut this avocado up real quick the avocado i'm just gonna take it with this little knife So I'm just gonna scoop out the rest of the avocado and add it to my smoothie. I love avocado and I don't like to waste it, so I'm gonna use this lime, sprinkle it on the avocado, put it in the glass container, and then store it in the fridge so I can use it later on for dinner tonight. All right, the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add the jackfruit. Is it just me? Jackfruit has this like bubblegum flavor to it. Is it just me? Jackfruit is one of my favorite fruits. It kind of looks like this. If you've never had this before, then I'm sorry about show life. So yummy. Cream. It's like a like a vanilla slash fruity bubblegum flavor. Just pour some of that in there. Then I'm gonna add the almond milk. I just eyeball it. Don't ask me for measurements, you guys. Ain't nobody got time for all of that. And this is, again, just vanilla almond breeze. Almond milk. Quick question, what almond milk do you guys, what almond milk brand do you guys prefer? Shout them out in the comments, and I'm gonna be scrolling through. And do you prefer regular milk, almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, rice milk? What milk are you all about? Let me know in the comments. Then I am just going to add some cinnamon, just basic cinnamon. I got this from Walmart. And the reason why I got this from Walmart is because I use cinnamon all the time in everything because I like the way it tastes. And I go through it so fast that it, I don't even know if it's worth it for me. And I haven't tasted a difference between, you know, um, designer cinnamon and Walmart cinnamon. So I just get the, the, big, the big one for like three or four dollars. Okay, now it's time for my favorite part. Well, my second favorite part, and that's just by locking this bad boy up, quickly plugging it into the wall, and blending it. Okay, now we are done. Pop it off, pop the lid off, grab a glass cup, and just pour it in there. Look, that's perfect, right? Perfect. And then, sprinkle some cinnamon on top so that your smoothie isn't basic, and then you drink it. It's creamy as fuck. Oh my god. And now for your moment of zen. Are you guys? <gasps> So I'm gonna go enjoy this. I'll take a break really quickly before we go live. Hopefully I'll see you tonight for Astro Live Chat. And if it's not tonight that I'm gonna see you as we go live, maybe you're watching this on a Wednesday and Monday already passed, or maybe you're brand new to the Bahati Vibe Tribe. Remember that we go live every Monday at 7 p.m. Find my Instagram here or there or wherever it is that the words pop up. And if you like this video, if you wanna see my hot, summer breakfast smoothie that I make when it gets warmer out, especially here in New Orleans, then let a girl know by hitting that thumbs up button, letting me know down in the comments. If you wanna go for a bike ride with me, then let me know that in the comments. Then I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna enjoy this moment, this smoothie. Gratitude vibes on 100%. And I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye.